this is the reason why Obaseke won the election and um, this is equally the reason why I kept silent you know when I promised I was to come out to say who will be declared as a governor after I gave the first prophecy that spoke about um, what happened in Lagos to repeat in Edo State. So I want to give a prophecy on Edo State to Obaseke. The Lord gave me a warning to go and warn him to pray that what happened in Lagos we repeat itself in a dust state. And uh, the Robasaki still have the oil of continuity. I'm still seeing the oil of leadership of continuity on his head. Then I equally prophesied uh, who was to take the seat in APC, which was Pastese Yamu, which equally came to pass. Then I said I was to come out, but I kept silent. And the reason why I kept silent was simple. You know, when the first prophecy came to pass, second prophecy came to pass. The governor, Obaseki, never listened, you know. So it was a few days to the primaries that, you know, my phone rang, it was him. When he uh, discussed with me, he made a statement that turned my spiritual anger to decide to support somebody spiritually. I just took a decision. I took up 21 prophets, 21 great men of God to the mountain for the sake of Obaseke. And I, when I went to that mountain, my purpose was so that he would find mercy in the sight of God and come out victoriously. And we stood on that prayer the first seven days. I continued another seven days, another seven days, making it 21. And by the grace of God, who spoke and it, I did everything I know that a prophet can do to move the hand of God. And I tell you by the grace of God, I ended it up this two, three days ago, which is before the election. That was when uh, I needed to end up that prayer in Benin. That was when I flew into Benin three days ago and uh, concluded the whole prayers in the three senatorials in to restore the mandate of God upon his life. And why am I saying this? Because I know a lot of my followers said you kept silent. Well, I didn't keep silent. I later took a position because one thing every prophet uh, wants is when you, you honor a prophet and honor him so much and believe in his God. Let me tell you, if his God answers prayer, he's going to move the hand of his God. And at the end of the day, I can categorically tell you that it is God that makes kings. It is God that gives power. And at the end of the day, God has actually won. And I want to officially say congratulations to His Excellency Governor Obaseki for your victory. It is the will of God. And I want to say, you know, something happened because when we were in the mountain, the pastor with us came and he said, Prophet, is this how it takes you to uh, move the hand of God? I said, this is what we we'll suffer. We we'll go to the bush, climb the mountain, seek the face of God. But if you're a genuine prophet, God confirming the voice of his servant. And by the grace of God, it has been confirmed. And I want to say officially, congratulations to His Excellency, Governor Obaseke. But hear this, the Edo people stood by you. And indeed, when I gave that prophecy that has to do with Edo, uh, what happened in Lagos, we repeat in Edo, so you people stood. That thing became a headline in Edo State. You people came up and said, Edo is not Lagos. It became a trending platform. Now, now I want you to understand this. The two secrets of uh, of Basaki's victory is one, God, and two, the people. I want you to understand that there is what they call power, economic power, there's what they call political power. But what controls them all is the spiritual power. That's why the Bible said that the spiritual controls the physical. And I can tell you the people were with him. And again, those who believe they were playing God above them now met the power of God, swinging victory unto him. But nevertheless, I want to say congratulations to you, Your Excellency. God has won. Congratulations. To God be the glory. Amen. When we walk with the Lord child, in the light of His world, what a glory He shares on our way. While we do His good will, he abide with us still And with all who we trust and obey Oh yes! Trust and obey For 
there is no other way to be happy in Jesus. For you trust 